I've always been interested in how things worked, trying to come up with my own ideas and put them into practice. I started working on cars when I was 12. My latest project was the Camaro. When I started work on it, it was four wheels and a steel shell, completely gutted. I built the engine from scratch, and when it fired for the first time, it was pretty awesome. The sense of achievement that you get when you take a step back and realise you've put this together yourself and it actually works was incredible. When I finished school, I signed up to a mechatronics degree, but it was a lot of theory, so I chose a more practical degree that had more one-on-one -on -one teaching. The Bachelor of Engineering Technology was perfect. It suited my learning style, and not only that, it was a three-year degree, so you get into the field sooner. I work as a process development engineer for Fisher & Paykel Healthcare. I specialise in plastic injection moulding. In this role, I design the process that produces intricate, moulded plastic parts for medical devices. One of the big projects I've worked on here is the OptiFlow Junior Cannula, a medical device that helps babies breathe. There was a team of us that worked on this product, including product development, quality, operations and maintenance engineers. We needed to make sure the apparatus was as comfortable as possible for premature and full-term babies, and that there's actually enough airflow to the patient. The most rewarding part was seeing the impact on the families going through such a difficult time. The device enabled parents to pick up their baby and have skin-to-skin -skin contact much sooner, which aided their recovery time. The design has been incredibly successful and is used all around the world. It's very rewarding to know that the device you've spent so long making and refining with the team actually helps save lives. Using the latest technology to make the world healthier, that's pretty cool, it's pretty special. My name is Chris Montague, help me make the world.